Here we go. That's a cold soda. That's good. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley. What the heck is that? My name is Riley, and today we're going to be building something super cool. This is the most exciting project I've done all summer because I cannot wait to work with water. So I'm going to build a Lego instant soda chiller. The way that works is we're going to have this centrifugal pump, and this will pump water up through the tube, ice cold water, by the way, coming from the bottom. That will go over the soda that's rapidly spinning and then come back down to complete the loop of water and essentially this is going to rapidly chill the soda so it'll be like regular and then rapidly chilled so it'll be rapidly chilled like my coffee why is it so cold here's the pump we have right here and you can see in the bottom there's a little hole we got an impeller in there there's some water coming out still an impeller and basically that will spin around and uh, using centrifugal force it will suck the water in, the water will spin around, go up this tube, and in, onto the soda. The impeller design actually comes from this YouTuber right here. Super big thanks to him. He made a video a couple years ago. It's got 600,000 views. He did an incredible job designing a high volume water pump. So go check out that video if you want to see how to build your own. So I'm using two L motors. These plug into a battery, and then if you plug it in, you can see. You see the little impeller spinning super fast down there. So let's get started building the box out of white bricks and see how it looks. That's about it. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna start with two base plates. It's gonna be about this big. Uh, we don't actually need all this space, but we do need the water pump to sit in there uh, like this, like that. So technically, yeah, we, we do need all that space. Uh, so we're gonna grab like a little container about yay big. We'll build a box around that. Let's just start by doing that. So let me find a container. All right, now. Cool, okay, so now we got this. Let's build up walls around here and do a quick, fast time lapse. It's gonna be awesome. Ah, oh, that didn't work, Never mind. All right, this can go here. Uh. There's another sentence in there somewhere. All right, so we got down that layer of plates there. Let's put Technic bricks on top of it. And that way we can put the spinner mechanism, but also we can strengthen it up because it is real weak right now. Oh yeah, it's a lot stronger. Okay, so we need a long axle to run all the way across there. This will kind of rest on it. Or actually, we could have two axles there as well. Then we can fit the motor right there, so let's do that. Where's the large motor? All right, so once we find that, um, oh, oh, it's on this. Found it, it was up there. Okay, watch this. Nice, that will spin four like this, we'll grab a tire, and then we're gonna actually put a wheel on this tire. working how it's supposed to. It needs to be up here. So that could be changed if we just put something like that right there or on the other side too. All right guys, it's, it's working really well right now, like so close. All we have to do literally is just hook it up to the S brick and literally just build it up and this thing will be done, no way. Oh, I'm so excited. This would be the water. Really wasn't worth the meme, never mind. <laughs> Alright, now you still may be thinking, man, this looks like garbage. Don't click out. Seriously, it's gonna get better. Right? Yeah. It's gonna get better. We're gonna put like a thing here and it's gonna go whoosh. So that'll be cool, and then we're gonna put a box up here, and then another thing that goes over here. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see this because the table's getting kind of cluttered, but I'll uh, move that all aside for a sec so you can see what we're gonna do here. Uh, essentially, we want this shape up here. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take 
couple of these hinges, like this, and we're literally just gonna do that. Beautiful, guys. Doesn't look too bad. All right, now we need to cover this up. All right, uh, to be honest, I didn't plan on this machine being this, this fat, um, but does the soda still fit in there? Yes. Will it still work? Yes. Does this weigh 20 pounds? Yeah, probably. All right, we are so close. We just gotta do a swooshy thing up here. Should be really simple. Uh, that's a huge lie. Probably won't be simple at all, um, but we can do it. Let's do it in blue too, like all blue. And there we go, it's online. It is online, all we have to do is fill it with water and ice and I can show you guys how this works. So here we go. So we've got our cooler full of ice. And then, let's fill it up with water. We gotta fill it up to a certain point on the pump here. Wait, was that actually the perfect amount? You can also see I put stickers all over this thing, Lego stickers all over the pump. Uh, instead of using tape, it actually just seals it off so it's a little more watertight. Lift this into here. You can see here this is just slides right in there. Beautiful. I'm going to take this cap off to show you guys what I'm doing now. You just got to put this little spigot in. And there we go. The water's going to pump through there. And now it is all set up, guys. Guys, just want to let you know, this is kind of dangerous. Even though there's just batteries, you could ruin your motors and uh, electrocute yourself with nine volts of electricity. Uh, so be very careful, okay? <laughs> Just don't do this at all. Okay, now we are officially ready. So I have here a Coca-Cola, who likes Pepsi, right? I have a Coca-Cola here, and I'm going to scan it with this scanny thingy and show you guys. And it is 76 degrees. So we're gonna go for one minute and a half and see how well that does. So all you gotta do is set the soda in here, but then you pop this on like so, perfect. And then one minute, I'll start it by just dragging this slider over to that. Here we go. Look at that, guys. We'll bring it down a little more, get it spin a little slower, but this goes right back in and then pumps back through the motor and you can see if I take this off. You see what's happening. So the Lego pump powered by power functions and the S-brick pumps the water up through there. Sorry, it might be a tad loud. And it's been about, all right, so that's 30 seconds there. And we'll go for a minute and a half. And the water is really cold, it's ice cold, because there's ice in it. There it is, you ready for this, guys? <laughs> guys, it works, it so works, oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. We could have even done this for two minutes, but oh my gosh. Let's go, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this worked. Okay, I'm gonna get some better shots this time and show you with a Pepsi can. Again, same, what do we got here? 80, 80 degrees, actually. Okay, starting. Check that out there. I'm gonna show you guys the back, what's going on here. We got the motor for the tire. We got the ice water, and you can see it just drips right back down in there, so it's a continuous loop. We got some gears that are lubricated by the water. Uh, just kind of the glass half full stuff. We got two, two motors running the gears. You can see in there, that's a cool shot right there. Check that out. If we take this off, this lid has, actually isn't on all the way. I'm gonna take this off real quick. You can see it a lot better. There you go, you can see a lot better what's happening in there. We just got a couple tires on an axle that I showed you how I built earlier. And essentially they just spin it. The other axle is just there to hold it up. And then this ice cold water comes right out of there. 
Look at that, guys. Right out of there and onto the Pepsi. And it has been, I think, about a minute. We're going to go for two or three minutes, see what happens. But this is comparing it to four hours in the refrigerator, so. Want to try an ice-cold Pepsi? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Okay. Is it actually? Oh, there's actual ice. It's ice-cold. Wait, how did you freeze it? Ice water. So, how did the buttons change the temperature, though? Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to actually do that. Is it cold? Yeah. How long did it take you to do that? Two minutes. Pumps the ice-cold water right back into there, and then that one spins it. Oh, that's it. so cool! <laughs> it splashed my eye. Okay, guys, so this works super well. The only thing that happened was, as you can see, you can't really, but this wall over here, uh, there's some slopes on it to angle the water back down into the bin leaked out just a little bit through this wall. You can see kind of the drippage. That's the only thing though. Otherwise, this thing works fantastic. And uh, there's a little puddle right there. But all you have to do for that is just put another layer on that wall. Seriously, super easy. But guys, oh my gosh. This took me like four hours. Thanks again to this guy for designing the pump. I cannot believe. I, it, I took, it took me seven tries to get the pump right until I saw his video. And I was like, oh, and so I, I used his impeller. So thank you so much for him. If you want to see how the pump works, go check out his video. I'll link it down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought was the coolest about this. And maybe go try and build your own. It'll be super fun. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is Riley, and I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science.